This is Stormy and Soul, and we're playing. You don't know Jack. Double check we're recording. We are. Let's go. <laughs> I am Cookie Masterson, and I shaved my nipples for this. His name so Cookie. Cookie Masterson. Cookie. Shaved nipples. Hello. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here with both of you. I'm on a lot of pain medication at the moment. There are your screws to get you started. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit the screw <laughs> button, and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. <laughs> And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by Flavored Eye Drops. <laughs> have all the fun. That Flavored seems Eye interesting. Drops. If oh, you happen to find our sponsor's three. wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. I'm gonna lick your eyes. <laughs> so <let's get> <laughs> Seriously. Hello. Yeah, exactly. Let's start with Eat, Pray, Die. Okay, what, is, what are we doing again? Which of these Julia Roberts characters would Jack the Ripper have been most likely to savagely murder? Aaron Brockovich, Vivian Ward, Tess Ocean, or Liz Gilbert? Jackie Boy targeted. Player two. Player one. This is gonna hurt. Were you thinking of this one? Oh, what is the name shit. of the prostitute Julia Roberts plays in Pretty Woman? Duh, and I used to watch that movie like when I was a kid over and over and over again. <laughs> so no, I didn't. Just love My memory is shit, though. <laughs> I can see it now. He'd open the box with his knife in it. She'd reach in and he'd playfully shut it, snapping her fingers. She'd laugh, he'd laugh, <laughs> and he'd kill her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's try if I only had a brain trust. Suppose the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz faced off against the wicked witch of the West in a public debate. If he wanted to use a straw man argument against her, what might he do? Attack the wicked witch's character rather than the issues? Misrepresent the wicked witch's position on the issues? Prove the wicked witch wrong using statistical data? Or interrupt the wicked witch before she finishes her points? Player one, not much time left. Players one and two. A straw man argument purposefully misrepresents an opponent's position in order to strike it down. Yeah. Because the straw man's all like one of the two docile you see like, here tonight is a winner. Yeah, like witch. conflict. You are you the rest of my time. Pretty much, yeah. Obviously. Go three, baby. Oh, Next up, here. our dog is Naughty. always in the way. This or that legs being tied up. This or that. Player one. This, this, this. Why don't you play this this or that and see if you can catch up? I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a necktie knot or the name what? of a sex position recommended by Women's Health Magazine. Okay. If it's a necktie knot. Press the X button. If it's Maybe. a sex position, press the B button. Player two, choose your answer before player one. And if player one gets it wrong and you get it right, that cash is yours. All right. So don't get, get it right, Charlie. <laughs> half loser. <laughs> okay. A what? The half. Hand. It appears your score likes to be on bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. My usual sex position is also the way I usually tie a tie. Alone in front of a mirror. Poor <laughs> Here we have shop till everyone drops. Sick. 
Christmas oh, time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Foot Locker, Radio Shack, Victoria's Secret, or Lens Crafters? Players 1 and 2? Oh, the humanity! What the hell? Why do we pick the same shit? In the grim fairy tale, The Elves and the Cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much-needed help by elves who appear in the middle of the night. And while the shoemaker made a nice profit, the elves <laughs> okay. were trampled to death on Black Friday. <laughs> How about... Okia Dokia. Oh, really? If you're driving between company headquarters, which trip should be the shortest? Ikea to Kia, Kia to Nokia, Nokia to Ikea, or Ikea Nokia. What? Ikea headquarters are exactly the same distance apart. Fuck, I know. There's one and two. What were you thinking there? <laughs> we just suck. Kia is based in Finland, and Ikea is based right next door in Sweden. Kia is based in South Korea. Oh, I guess I do not know Whether Jack. It's phones, furniture, or cars. Oh, if it's got shit. Kia in the name, you know it's gonna be cheap. I mean, inexpensive. Inexpensive! That'll bring an end to our first round. Remember, I'm definitely the value of each question in round two. Holy... And don't be afraid to use those screws. You didn't come here to make friends. Well, how the hell do you use the screws? Take a good look at... Muscle Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> See, the news team from the Anchorman films decides to run a relay race against a rival news team. If Ron Burgundy is his team's anchor, when will he run? Before Brick, Brian, and Champ? After Brick and Brian, but before Champ? Before Brian and Champ? What the but fuck? After Brick, or after Brick, Brian? Player one, let this be a lesson to you. <laughs> Player two? Uh, nah. -uh. We are so like so this. smart at stuff. In relay race, the anchor, usually the fastest runner, goes last. And they were Cause like we know all this shit, right? Because right? no, we've got nothing better to do than try to figure all this shit out. This one's known as Guess Who's Dak? Dak again. You know, I'm not an optimist, but I have to say, I feel like things have been going pretty well with the game so far. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're oh, doing no, my so old great. Puppet, Billy O'Brien. Not me. Billy, okay. the whole creative team here decided to not include you in this game because you're too much of a troublemaker. Troublemaker? Me? <laughs> no, I just got that. From traveling the world, studying all the profound teachings of titular world spiritual leaders. For instance, which titular religious group was founded by someone with the last name of Smith? Protestants, Episcopalians, oh. Trustitarians, or Nornons? Player one. <laughs> Player two. The Mormon religion was founded in the 1800s by Joseph Smith. In America. Sure. Wow. So, which was your favorite religion you studied? Well, I particularly like the one that particularly? <laughs> Someday, I hope to come back as a beautiful coffee table. <laughs> Over. Yeah, that was pretty freaking confusing. May I introduce Orcas Eleven? Say I wanted to go around freeing the killer whales from every Sea World location in the world. How many separate rescue missions would I need to go on? Three rescue missions, four rescue missions, five rescue missions, or six rescue missions? Really? Player two. Whale, 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 look who's wrong now. Player one. There are 
three SeaWorlds, one in San Diego, one in San Antonio, and one in Orlando. So you would need to go on three separate rescue missions. Yep, I totally knew that. Um, that sounds like a lot of traveling. Yeah, it was like, it just came to my head and I'm like, oh yeah, I totally know this. Easy win for me. Mm-hmm. And now, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Peanuts! The name of Jeff Dunham's purple-skinned puppet. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, players one and two. His name is Peanut. Exactly! I have to admit, people who talk through ventriloquist puppets kind of creep me out. Can <laughs> you talk through me? Quiet, Billy. Stop trying to get me to kill people. Wow. Now you're creeping me out, man. <laughs> Pucker up for the midnight run to the bathroom. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, how would Paul Revere secretly signal to you that he has to pee in the sea? I have to do a number one in a one. I have to do a number one in a two. I have to do a number one in a three. Or I have to do a number two in a one. Player two? What a pity. Player ah! one. No, no, I'll get it. <laughs> According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere's Ride, Paul's signal for the British was one if by land, two if by sea. And as we all know, a number one is P. And Americans would have known about the British sooner if he hadn't stopped for a number four. You don't even want to know what that is. Okay. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 2,000. Oh, you know all about the attack. <laughs> Here's your clue. This plus this equals that. What new thing do these combine to make? Good luck. Obviously. My button isn't working. Sure. Yeah. It worked. It doesn't work, mm -hmm. Player one takes it. <laughs> oh wow. We like totally rocked money. this. I'll accept checks or money orders made out too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't know Jack. <laughs> nope. So I guess that's it. And um yeah. We kick some serious ass. Our own.
Good yeah, game. Yeah, good game. Bye-bye. TTFN!